So you're on your computer one day, scrolling through pictures, looking for inspiration, when suddenly you're like, whoa, I love the way this picture looks. So you go out, snap a few pics, and sit down to edit, but then you're like, damn, I don't really know how to get that look. Well today, we're learning how to get that look. It's literally three clicks and under 15 seconds to do it. Roll that intro. We don't have time for the intro. We're on the clock here. All right guys, let's get started with this and let's make it quick. Once you've imported both your original photo and your reference photo into Photoshop, it's literally only three clicks to get a matching or very close result. So for this example, I have a picture of Lac de Triomphe in Paris and I use the reference from a photographer I really like, Alan Palander. The guy has a very unique editing style. He likes to bring out the oranges and sort of desaturate a lot of the other colors. Love his style. So we're gonna make this picture look as close to Alan's style as we can. So once you have your picture open and your reference open, all you have to do is go to the top, go to image, click one, slide over to adjustments, match color, click two, and then go to the source section right over here and find your source image, which, which in this case is Alan Palander, click three. So once you've done those three clicks, your image should look very close to, if not exactly the same, as the image you're working from as a reference. You can adjust the luminance, color intensity, fade, and even click neutralize in some cases to get a closer result if it's a little bit off. But other than that, you just hit okay and boom, you've replicated that editing style. Now, a little bit of a disclaimer. Sometimes you're gonna get wacky results and usually this happens if your reference photo is way off from the photo you've taken. For example, your photo is a portrait outside in the daytime and the reference photo you're using is a nighttime landscape. You might get something that looks like this. But the good news is, most of the time you can play with things like hue, saturation, curves, levels, and sort of balance off that image. And you know, if it's not exactly bang on, you can find a happy medium. And honestly, that's all there is to it, ladies and gents. So if you found this helpful, hit that like button, subscribe if you're not already, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. You know, come to think of it, we probably did have time for the full intro.